All right, welcome kings and queens. Today we are talking to Scott's sisters. Whoo, listen, I was going to take my nap and then Tamika Scott. Tamika Scott came in kicking down doors with receipt upon receipt upon receipt. And here's the thing. You pushed her there, Latasha. You did all of that bravado online, looking at the camera, speaking to the audience with conviction. The same conviction that you sing with, the same conviction that you walked Joe behind in to that gospel recording studio in front of those execs, and you gave a very compelling story, and you put your sisters back up against the wall. And I think what really did it is when you said, I'll, I guess I'll be waiting for my apology. What happened to understanding? How can we communicate? If you don't hear what I say, girl, you should have took the advice of that song. And you should have sat this one out because you just made a complete fool out of yourself. And you know what? I'm going to just say it. Rocky made a fool out of you. But I'm not even worried about the money. Everybody's focused on her bringing the money, right? Uh, the receipts about the money, proving that you did, you and your husband did take her money. And she's being very kind and giving you grace by saying 30000 I'm under the impression there was a lot more. And your sister did not want to prosecute you because you're her sister. Now, when you interviewed with Lisa Ray and, her, and, and those girls, you said, I'll give you that. We need you to go ahead and make good on that. Give your sister back that $30,000. Tamika, give her your Zelle or your Cash App so you can go ahead and collect your coin that she so graciously helped herself to. I'm not too focused on that. I'm focused on the audacity. And I'm going to get into detail about that. The audacity of what you've allowed your husband to do to your sister. Girl, that's a whole, you a whole different breed. I don't know what type of spell Rocky has on you or Edward, Edward Bivens has on you. But girl, don't let that man take you down. Don't let that man take you down and ruin your career and have your ass sitting in jail somewhere. Y'all ready to get into it? For those of you who are just tuned in or if you're new to the channel, welcome to the palace. I am Queen Sheba. I cover a variety of hot topics specific to reality television. But most importantly, I hone in on the psychological and the behavioral traits of the black experience. You know how the fairy tale goes about the big bad wolf and little red riding hood. And he says, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> Latasha Scott, Tamika blew your roof off your house. Latasha, Tamika blew your house down. And when I say she blew your house down, I'm talking about your covering, the cover up story. She blew it to pieces, honey. She blew it to pieces and she does not have to cover for you because you were sisters. Mm -mm. My family is it's like when uh, I don't want to get into that. I almost said some, you know, your family are the people that are good to you. Just because we blood don't make us family. And I think that's what you were saying, Latasha, that you're, you're not family by choice. All right, that's fine. So your sister does not have to cover for you anymore. She does not. Because what you did and what you have done, if you're not careful, ma'am, you are going to jail. Do not stop. What is it? Pass, go, don't pass, go. You are going straight to jail. Latasha Scott, if you are not careful, all behind a man, behind Rocky. Really? You going to let Edward Bivens get you into some shit that you can't get out of? You're going to let Edward Bivens, the man who's been cheating on you, and we know he has. That's not alleged. That's factual because that girl came with proof. That girl that Tasha K 
interview came with receipt after receipt. Tamika, not Tamika, Latasha. As a matter of fact, ladies, are we still doing this in 2023? That we, we're so ride or die for a man to the detriment of our professional career, to the detriment that we will stab our family members in the back by any means necessary. If my husband wants me to treat you like shit, I am. If my husband tells me to do this, and even though you're my sister, I'm going to. If my husband tells me to get online and lie through my teeth while looking at the camera, that's what I'm going to do. If you come up with a record deal, I'm going to pull the rug from up underneath your feet. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go behind your back and I'm going to sign it without you. Is that what we're doing, Latasha? For what? In the name of what? Love? Because, baby, that ain't love. Your man got you out here looking like a strung out crackhead. And I don't mean by physical appearance. I'm talking about your wayward behavior. What you're doing, that wayward behavior, is something that we expect from a dopehead, a crackhead. And I'm not calling you that. I'm calling your behavior that. Because you see, a crackhead will do or steal from anybody. They don't care. As long as they get a fix and a hit, right? And it sounds like your fix is your solo career. And your hit is the money that comes with it, even if it doesn't belong to you. First of all, I want to commend you, Tamika. I want to commend you. You are a stand-up kind of gal. You are a stand-up kind of gal. And I could tell you didn't go, I could tell, this is my opinion. You didn't get on the internet because you wanted to and because you could clown her. You got on the internet and shared because you had no choice. Good call. Good call on your part. And here's why I say that, Tamika, and for those of you that are tuned in. When you meet a swordsman and he pulls his sword, don't recite poetry. You got to pull your sword. Latasha and Rocky have been pulling their swords for years. And Tamika has been covering and covering and covering and taking licks for years. And as a result, if you go back and you listen to all of the receipts that she's provided, the audio and video that Miss Diane uh, validated and confirmed from the re- from the company where they get their royalties. That lady's not going to lie. You see what I'm saying? That lady's not going to lie. And because you take hit after hit and you don't do anything about it, the treatment becomes worse. The threats become escalated. And we're going to cover that. Okay. To the point that you're threatening to release your sister's sex tape. Ma'am, there are laws against that. It's called revenge porn law. You will get thrown in jail if you release that tape. Rocky must not give a damn about you. And I wouldn't be shocked if he's trying to get your ass in jail so he can run the streets and do what he want to do and have control and access of your money. Okay? You better think twice, Latasha. And Edward Bivens before you release that tape. Because one of y'all going to jail if you do. One of you is going to go to jail. That's against the law. You can't do that. And Tamika, if they do it, let them. Come what may. Because at the end of the day, you can't control it. You stated your claim. That happened a while back. You apologize to the necessary parties. You don't owe us anything. Okay. The fact that you would allow your husband to watch your sister, Latasha, engage in a sexual act, you're, you're just as sick as he is. Ain't no motherfucking way I would allow my husband to take possession over my sister's tape. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Latasha, has life been that hard on you? Are you that far gone by way of low self-esteem that has come to this? I don't know if y'all understand the severity of what I'm saying. Forget the money. To hang your husband, your sister's sex tape, and you know he watched it, and allow him to look at her in that manner. 
baby girl, what happened to you? So let me read this text that they sent. It says, Tamika, I have a question for you. Which allegation is worse to the media? You. I don't know what he's to the media. He said, you accusing your sister of stealing 30 K or you texting and sending, sending naked pictures to your sister's husband. We just got our hands on pictures and messages. So we going to do you a favor and let you apologize to your sister and your mom. Like you did candy who set you up. They meant in the first place, but it says on the first place. Also, we have a video of you having sex with someone in 2016. And you can thank that the person that's suing you for that. If you don't, we'll send all info to the media and your Kevin Costner husband. I guess that means bodyguard. Okay. If you think it's a joke, don't apologize. You'll be defending yourself to your children, your husband and the world. But you're not going to have a face. You're not going to have to face shame by yourself. There's a video of, of Todd, you know, a tranny blank. Child, that ain't nobody but Edward Bivens right now and typing that. We don't care, Rocky. Because as soon as you release it, we going to run and cover her in prayer. And we going to support her. So go ahead and release it. Go ahead and release it. I know you gave us a little teaser on Tasha K when you were talking on that phone. Go ahead. Go ahead and release it so that you can go straight to jail. Okay? Because the same thing that makes you laugh make you cry. And I also told you, you're not the only big bad wolf out there. Okay? Because somebody else can huff and puff and blow your motherfucking house down. Thank you.